getting around to the empty house tour. I have literally tried to make this video so many times. We've only been here for like a little over a week. Um, so it's really not that behind, but I've been trying to make it for such a long time, but we've been doing so many renovations like so, so quickly. I will insert some pictures here so you guys can kind of see like what we've done already in comparison to like how the house looked before. A lot has changed in a short period of time, but I did get some B-roll before we started making demo. Um, and I also have a video from whenever I looked at the house before we actually closed, so I'll link that below. But we've just had an insane amount of people in and out of our house working on things, and so there's actually someone here right now. Um, we have a plumber here, but I'm still gonna show you the house anyway because we literally have someone here every single day. So. Um, I'm gonna just take you guys on a full tour of the house and um, this is obviously the front of the house and I'm just gonna tell you like kind of what we're gonna do for each room. We plan on making the outdoor area white with black trim and it's just gonna look a lot different than it does now. We wanna have a black roof, we're gonna have black windows. I'll try to insert like some pictures maybe so you guys can get a good idea. And I also have a whole Pinterest account that I will link so you guys can see like our full concept. But um, we're gonna like white wash the brick. I don't know if that's the exact term, um, but it's going to be white with the black trim everywhere. And um, we did a lot to the front too where we took out like a lot of the weeds. So we're gonna plant in nice flowers and it'll just look really nice. So. Let's go in the house. I'm going to give you the full house tour of like literally what every single room looks like and what we plan on doing in every single room in our new house. If you guys are new here, we recently bought this lake house literally like less a little over a week ago and we have big big plans for it. It's going to be completely renovated and everything's going to be pretty much pulled out to make it like our like forever home. So um, let's go in and I will show you guys what the plans are for every single room in the house. You'll probably see or hear, um, you'll see people walking around and you'll hear like a little beep. That's our alarm system as people walk in and out. So I apologize for that, but just bear with me in this video. Um, I'm really excited to show you guys what every room is gonna look like. This is the living room. When you first walk in, um, this is what you see. And I'm kind of on the far side and I'll show you guys B-roll so you can see like what the actual room looks like. We um, don't plan on doing like an insane amount to this room. We wanna change the flooring, we wanna change the wall color, and we're gonna use, I think, the color Simply White by, I think it's Benjamin something or other, um, for the walls, and it's a white, but it has like a cream undertone, and so I feel like it'll be really cozy. And then um, the windows, we're gonna change those and have like a black trim, and it's gonna look really, really nice. I feel like having the black accents will be great for um, just adding like a little pop of something in each room because I feel like most rooms will be really cozy um, and really, really bright and white. Um, we are not going to knock down this wall. This was actually something that we thought about, but we decided against it because this is where most of our cabinet space is um, in the kitchen area, which I'll take you guys in a second, but this room is just gonna get like a nice little facelift. Um, we're gonna change the doors over there, and then there's gonna be the hardwood that goes all throughout this room, but also every single room in the house other than the bathrooms will have the same flooring. So um, let's head into the, uh, it's like a, I guess I'll just like walk with you guys, but it's like a kind of a, it's like a dining room area, I guess. Um, we haven't really decided exactly how we're going to do like each room. Okay, this is the dining room. Don't mind like the decor or anything because literally everything is just going to be completely changed. Um, this room we have big plans for. So on this side, you guys will see in the B-roll, there is a door and it actually goes out to our roof. And so we plan on making a balcony out of that roof so that way we can look out onto the lake and just have a really pretty view every single day because that's literally what we like wanted in this house was just to be able to really like i don't know just get like the whole lake vibe so out there is gonna be a balcony and then um we're gonna have really big doors at least that's the idea um if it works for that balcony that have like a black trim and i really want like that california feel where you can kind of like push them you know what i mean um so that's the idea for the doors and then for the floor it's gonna have the same floor throughout we are going to change um the staircase and it's going to be like a black trim and you guys will just see like that pretty much every room is going to have like a little bit of black trim in there 
and like a black accent um which is really cool i think because i typically stick with like beige everything but i just wanted little pops of black here and there i just thought it would look really sleek and modern but not like too much um so yeah sorry i totally just lost my train of thought i don't know why i said black staircase because that is not the plan we are going to do a um light wood staircase and then the black trim is going to be on the doors i don't know why i said black trim staircase it's not because the reason i thought of that is because i'm getting ready to take you in the kitchen and the kitchen actually will tie in with this room so when i take you in there you guys will get a good idea of how it actually ties in whenever you like i kind of tell you what we're gonna do in here so this room is um very spacious very bright like most of the rooms which is really nice um it looks out over the roof which we're planning on turning into a balcony um so these windows will have the same windows as in the dining room and i plan on having them be like those big push um type doors with the black trim don't mind everything might be we do not have a dishwasher so we're just living life um trying to like make it the best we can till we can actually get a dishwasher but all of these cabinets are coming out i know some of you guys have said that we could just repaint them um and that they would be really nice because honestly they are nice cabinets but i want the taller cabinets because we're going to take out that top up there um i don't know if you guys see like there's like a gap between um the cabinets we're going to take out that top and then we're going to like have longer cabinets um i just want a lot more cabinet like space there isn't a pantry in here so we're gonna build a pantry in this corner over here it has like honestly a ton of stuff it'll just be right by the window um and by the garage door at least that's the idea as long as um these like doors aren't too big over the water um so yeah that's kind of the plan in here we don't want to put a table in here so we are going to put a really big square island and i say square because i don't want the island to just overlook the water or just overlook this side because i want to be able to utilize the entire island um because i feel like if friends are over i'll want to face in the dining room but if it's like a sunset or i'm just like cooking by myself i will probably want to face the water so that's probably why we will get a um square one and then the floors will also be the same in here as in the rest of the rooms i was really trying to decide between whether i wanted to do tile in here or i wanted to do like the flooring that we have throughout and i decided the flooring throughout because i just thought that it would look a lot better we'll see <laughs> the thing about like completely renovating a house is like you have an idea of what you think things will look like and then you like buy it or get ready to buy it or you put it in and you're like oh my gosh is this gonna look good like it's something i'm gonna be in like forever and if you guys are new we actually have um a flip that we're working on right now and we have other flips that we've done which i will link below so you guys can watch those if you want um but the one we're working on now i feel like i have a little less stress because i don't have to worry about like it being something i have to love for a very long time because someone else is moving into it um whereas like you know if i'm doing it i want to make sure that i love it for a long time so let me take you into the let's see where are we going let's do the um we'll do the guest bedroom and i say the guest bedroom because it's very small and it'll be very quick in here nothing really special there's blue carpet right now that's going to be taken out um it looks like brady's like setting up his game stuff in here probably just for now the thing about being like not fully moved in is like you can't really put anything where you actually want it to go um i'll tell you why um a little bit later when we get to the basement because that's like actually where his game room is going to be but game room slash office but this room is going to be the guest room we're going to paint change the baseboards we're also changing the baseboards in every single room i don't know if i mentioned that um new paint and then there's going to be new doors on the closets and then it's going to have the same floor throughout so it'll be nice along with new light fixtures in every single room i'm going to try to get this before the plumber comes back in but if he does um i'll just move on to the next room so the bathroom right now this is the only one that's functioning for us um we got it fixed because the other ones are demoed um and so we're like kind of functioning in this 
uh, but it's kind of like uh, it's a work in progress. Everything in here is very old, except the tub, the not the tub, the uh, toilet we changed out, and then the uh, top of the sink, we actually took it from our flip because the old sink was like so gross. So um, everything's kind of like makeshift, but this room is gonna be completely like just demoed like the other bathrooms that you'll see in a minute. Um, and it's gonna be demoed because we wanna literally change everything about it we're not going to change the layout but we will change um just like everything that's in it the floors are going to be like a beige tone and they're going to be the same downstairs in the basement as well that's a full bathroom and this one is two um and we're going to keep the shower over tub type vibe but it's just going to be new and then we're also going to keep the double vanity it's just going to be new but we're going to take the tile off the walls right now there's tile in here um and it's just going to be like regular um walls not tile and it's going to have the same paint color as like the rest of the house to kind of just like tie everything in together um i want this room to be really like light and airy um i want it to have like a little bit of like softness which is why the tile is more of a um like beige tone but i think it'll look really really nice go down this hallway you go into wow i did not realize this was so dark you go into whew, I'm trying to turn this around um because you guys are on a tripod but you walk into a, another room, which is going to be my wardrobe. So this is going to be completely closed off. So like right now, you can walk in here from the hallway. It's not going to be like that at all. This room has pretty much the same layout as the room next door, which is the guest room. This is going to be literally wall-to-wall, -wall, like <laughs> cabinets, like you know stuff to places to hang things are going to be in here like it's literally going to be a full wardrobe i want to put either two chairs in here or a couch comment below what you guys think i'm really not sure um and then i'm going to put an island in the middle and it's going to connect through this closet right here um oh if i can get open <laughs> this actually goes um if you like open this up it goes into our master so that's the plan for this room it's literally just going to be a wardrobe um i've never had a walk-in wardrobe before but i'm really excited about it because i've always wanted one literally when i told brady that i wanted a walk-in wardrobe he was like are you sure you want this whole room for a wardrobe and i was like yes absolutely 100 percent i can decide if i want to keep a window in here or not there are multiple windows but i'm thinking for a wardrobe i would want to have it closed off because i'm gonna, probably gonna like change in here but then it's also like is that gonna make the room super dark um there's just so many decisions i am gonna change out the light fixture in here with the one that's in the dining room and that one's gonna be pulled in here so it doesn't block the water view and i still have a really nice um chandelier now we're gonna go into um our master which is where Bane is right now um because the plumber is here but most of the time we've actually left him out and he's been like loving it and getting all the attention from different workers and stuff that are in here but yeah so this room is like just we're so excited about it because one it has the same view as the um what's it called dining room and kitchen and so <coughs> sorry everything is so dusty in here um it has the same like view but it also has like that same area that goes out to the roof um but it has the windows that are like the kitchen and not like the doors like the dining room so we are going to actually put doors in here as well similar to the kitchen and similar to the dining room we want them to have like the black trim on the outside they're going to be like pushable kind of like that california vibe um, and we're gonna put it literally like, this is gonna be the same size as the dining room and same as the kitchen to kind of give it like a really cohesive vibe. Um, and here we're gonna have same flooring as everywhere else, new baseboards, same wall color. Um, I want the whole house to really be cohesive, but I feel like the decor is what's gonna change every room and not necessarily how we um, design each room, if that makes sense. I don't wanna do anything too crazy. I feel like our last house, they had like grayish walls, but they kind of looked lavender-ish. Um, and I just feel like they did a lot of cool touches, but it almost, to me, would have been better if they just like made it more cool with like the stuff they put in it versus like the wall colors and stuff um so yeah 
The closet is gonna be opened up over there so I can walk through to the wardrobe and the bathroom is demoed, but I think I have some B-roll from before it was demoed and if I don't, um, you guys can just either one, use your imagination or two, go watch the video. Um, Go watch the video that I did of our, uh, I'm gonna pull you in here, of when we first got the house, like before it was like actually ours. Um, I have to like, be very careful, because I don't know if this is gonna fall through or not, like to be totally honest. Um, everything in here is like a little rickety, so I just never really know what is like together and what's not. It's also really dusty. You probably have shoes on in here, but it's fine. I've actually been like really planning on doing this video for so long, but like we've had so many people in and out. Um, it's just been like literally so crazy, but I definitely am like gonna continue to bring you guys along just on this whole journey because it's like been so fun. Um, so this bathroom, we have some decisions and the decisions we have to make, like I'm asking you guys because I like legit do not know. So <laughs> comment below what you think. Cause I, like, I really don't know. So in this bathroom, um, we are going to have hexagon tiles, which I already picked out, and they're kind of like a reddish tone, which was like not something I thought I would gravitate towards, but I really, really liked it. I saw a picture on Pinterest, and I'll try to put it in here. Um, so it kind of gave me the vibe, and when I got the tiles, I was like, yeah, this is it. Like, So the other bathrooms are actually going to be really cohesive, and this is going to be the only bathroom that is not. Um, but it's our master, so we kind of wanted it to be that way. The toilet um, sits over like kind of first when you walk in along with um, the sink and then we have the shower right here and then behind me was a closet. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, so now we're trying to decide if we, this is a decision I need help with, we're trying to decide if we want to do a shower head up here and then have like a glass that comes like out and it doesn't like encase in it but it just comes out like really far to like maybe here and then put a tub back here in this space like literally right back here or if we want to open up more space in here and have the shower head up here like back here and the tub right below it the biggest difference is one if the shower head is over the tub then I have to clean out the shower every single time I get in the tub because Obviously we shower every day, um, but I don't bathe in the tub every single day. So if I had the shower and the tub separate, I could shower you know, regularly every day like I normally do, but then when I go take a bath, I would just have to clean out after every time I take a bath. And so when I would go to take a bath, it would already be clean from the last time that I like took a bath um, and would clean it out right after. So that was the only thing that kind of drove me nuts in our other house was like literally anytime I wanted to take a bath, I had to like deep clean a whole tub um, and it just was not gross to me but it's like that's the shower that you use every day two people use it every day I take a shower twice a day sometimes so does Brady um, so it's like you really gotta like clean clean if you're gonna sit in it um, whereas if you have a tub that's like outside of your shower you kind of don't have to worry about that as much so that's the only thing. Really, it's like very trivial. It's not that serious, but I just honestly can't decide. It doesn't open up that much more space, um, but I'm like a little nervous that if we do end up um, keeping it separate, I'll regret not having the extra space. Or if we keep it together, I'll regret not separating it. So comment below what you guys think. I honestly don't know. Trying to decide, lots of decisions. It's funny because the guys, like they don't really care, so. I kind of just have to like make these decisions by myself um, which is cool because it's like obviously my house but it's like you know it's nice to like bounce ideas off people so let's head into um, the let's see I think we're gonna go downstairs I think that's all I have to show you guys up here um, there's a ton of stuff downstairs I feel like this is one of the few days where it hasn't been insane in here I my shoes because i really need them when i'm downstairs like i was walking around upstairs without them but it's like impossible to like walk anywhere without your shoes um in the basement so trying to find anything is also a little difficult oh i'm gonna put on brady's moccasins because they fit me they're a little big but we'll be fine and they're comfortable 
They're from Manitonka, Manitonka Moccasins, which is where I get all my moccasins. Very comfortable. So this, um, I was gonna say fireplace, I cannot talk today. These stairs, we took the wallpaper off the wall. Um, this is actually gonna be not like carpet, it's gonna be the same hardwood floor. Only thing I'm worried about is Bane getting up and down the stairs because he already struggles with it and he's like seven and a half. So I just don't know like how he's gonna do. But when you walk down here, you, hello, <laughs> you walk into a big basement area. And um, I think I have some B-roll from when Brady pulled up the carpet in here, but it actually had like this really gross carpet on the floor and it was kind of like bubbling a little bit. And so like within 30 minutes of being in his house, he like pulled it up. Um, there is that fireplace over there, which I'm trying to decide if we want to keep it exactly as it is. Brady said he thinks it's like some kind of really cool stone or something like quartz. I don't really know for sure because we haven't really got down here yet. Um, and then the front of the fireplace I feel like is a little dated. So I kind of want to change that around, but I'm not really sure how yet. <laughs> we haven't got down here yet and actually we're going to do the like basement this area and a lot of the other areas last. Um, we're gonna do the upstairs and the bathrooms and stuff first and then come into like these extra bonus rooms like the basement and our offices cause I mean, we need bathrooms first and then we need like our living space or kitchen and so forth. Um, so there's a bar down here which is actually what the plumber is working on right now cause there's like a leak in there. Um, but we want to like keep that bar and just like make it look newer and then we want this part where the windows are to be doors, at least I do. I'm not really sure if Brady's like on board with that yet, but I want it to be the same doors as upstairs to give it like the whole cohesive like vibe in the whole house. And then kind of have that same indoor outdoor feel that you'd see upstairs with the balcony. And then it'll have the hardwood floors, um, same wall color and all of that stuff. Then this room is, I'm telling you, there's a lot of rooms in here um, that are like honestly really random. So this room right here is gonna be my office. I am a little worried that I'm not gonna have enough light, um, but there's no like ring light or anything and this is like pretty well lit and the light's not even on. Um, and actually the whole house is really well lit. Um, we don't keep the lights on very often at all because it does stay pretty well lit in most rooms. Um, I think the, the room that gets probably the darkest is um, our living room and that's really it just because it's on like, I don't know, there aren't like a ton of trees outside but there's like a good enough amount. Anyway, this is gonna be my office. It's gonna be the same floor, same wall, same baseboards um, as the rest of the house. And um, we can't decide if we wanna close this off or keep it open, but I think I wanna keep it open because I don't want to lose this light right here um, and if I close this off like I'll definitely lose that because Brady thought maybe we could close it and put a door. I think I want to open it up even more and make it like an office slash like lounge space. I don't know if you guys saw my last office in the old house but there was like a lounge chair and it was like really comfy um, but it did have my desk and so um, I wanted to make it just like that, but just maybe add more lounge chairs to make it a little bit more loungy and less like office-y. Um, we have a area over here that is good for storage. Um, and this is actually the only storage we're gonna keep in the house. Um, there's more storage, that's like right above my head, wow, okay. Um, there's more storage in the other room, um, but we're actually changing the other storage room into something else because like we just have a lot of ideas. So um, this is literally gonna stay the exact same way that it is because you don't really need like a freaking, you know, posh um, storage area. So I feel like the one that we have right now is fine. And then you walk to the other side. Um, honestly, all of these rooms are kind of sketch. Um, when I'm in here by myself, it's like a little like ee. Um, but this right here this is right next to the lounge area slash my office. And I want to make it more loungy because um, this has a stove in here, like a stove hookup. And I don't know if it has a sink, but I feel like we almost could. I'm not really sure. We'd have to look into that. But um, this right here was a closet. I'll show you. We actually ended up um, taking out 
that down there because there was a leak um, and it just like kept leaking. So um, it's not gonna be a closet anymore, which I haven't wanted a closet anyway. <laughs> um, and we're gonna turn it into, um, or I wanna turn it into more of like this kitchen area. I wanna knock it all out and open it up more. Um, and there's gonna be like a stove here and just make it an area where if we have people over, they do not have to go upstairs for like really anything. Like we can make pizzas down here, like we could drink at the bar over there. Um, something else I forgot to show you guys. Um, I'll try to find a picture if I can. I'm not really sure I'll be able, if I'll be able to, but I have an idea that I think would be cool. Um, in that basement, you know how I talked about, or like that basement living room space type thing. Um, I talked about having like doors instead of windows. I also thought about having like a little cutout for a bar and putting like, like little chairs outside like big bar stools where people could like you know serve food through the little hole i don't know i just thought it'd be nice if we're coming in off the boat and we like don't want to come inside and get everything wet you could just like eat on the bar stools i don't know this, so idea. this area it's a little dark i don't know where the heck oh here it is um okay that's cool um i know that there's this house has like really weird oh lighting um like all of the switches are not where you think that they would be um but this area right here is our turn that off laundry area and they already pulled out like the tile and stuff on the floor um so it's like more done how like we would want it but um we're gonna add shelves we're gonna add more um I'm gonna try to like put in pictures so you guys can get like a visual because I do have like Pinterest boards for everything, but um, we're gonna put in shelves, we're gonna put in more space to fold. Um, it'll just be like a really nice little area for laundry. We have the dehumidifier on because honestly, we don't really know what it would be like if we didn't have it on. We've had it on just this whole time. Okay, so this area is the area that, I'll turn this dehumidifier off again. I guess I should have just kept it off to begin with, but this was the area that um, was just more storage and we're actually gonna turn this into a gym. Um, we don't really need this much extra storage. It's like a huge space. Um, so we just wanna make it an area where we can just like work out. Um, I saw on somebody's YouTube channel, I can't remember whose it was, but they actually like did something similar to the basement and it was really easy. They added in like some little square um, mats from Amazon. And so I don't wanna add the floor well, I do want to add the floor in here, um, but I don't really know how that would work, to be honest. Um, but I want to add the floor in here, but I want to put mats like over top of it and in like certain spots. So the whole area won't be full of mats, but there'll be like maybe half of the area full of mats. So we don't have to like worry about like our weights and stuff. Um, I want every inch of this house to be something that feels like very new, very nice. Um, I don't want to have any like areas that are like creepy um sorry you can come this way if you want um, uh, i don't want any areas that are like dark creepy basement vibes you know like it just takes away from um i don't know the coziness of it i guess if you feel like there's a room you can't go into because it's like creepy so um this right here is going to be brady's like game room slash office um they already took off like the wallpaper and actually a ton of stuff um and i'm trying to like show you guys before everything gets too crazy but um this is just going to be where he like plays his games he doesn't really work from home ever but when he does he does need a space to do it and so we'll put like his desk in here he has a desk from his um grandfather that he loves it's like a roll top desk it's brown um so i'll probably have the same flooring um it's gonna have the same baseboard same uh, I'm gonna say wallpaper, we're not doing wallpaper, same paint color, um, but I'm just gonna add more like brown, brown tones. Oh, I think I forgot to tell you about the kitchen and how the kitchen ties in with the dining room. I feel like I said I was going to and then I didn't. I wanna add some beams in there. Um, I'll put like a picture um, in that kitchen part so you guys can see what I was talking about. But um, I wanna add a, like beam in there that'll be the same color as the um the staircase this is the bathroom it's another full bathroom there's three of them i need to get out of here because i feel like the plumber might be coming back in here but um i want this bathroom to be nice enough like very nice um where people who come and like get on the boat and stuff don't have to 
feel like they need to like go upstairs to like shower or bathroom or anything um so it's gonna have the exact same like flooring paint color and everything as the one upstairs not our master but the other one um it's just gonna be a little bit tighter because it is smaller so this is gonna be where the shower is right here and then this part's gonna be the sink sink toilet um so yeah anyway i'll take you guys out Side, so you can see okay. so this um, is gonna be a really big open space um, open concept type patio remember above us is gonna be where we have the um, balcony I want like lots of couches out here um, over here you can see is the window for the basement this is gonna be turned into like a um, door that opens and closes um, and I also, so the part I was thinking about having for the bar, well, I was thinking it over there, but maybe it should be over here because I don't want it to be in Brady's game room. So it would be kind of cool if it was over there though. No, it would make, probably would make some more sense over here. Um, maybe in like a corner or something, but um, I want to put lots of um, couches out here, a TV out here, like an area where people can literally just like come out and chill. We're on a nice day people actually want to be versus like being inside because I feel like the view of the water is just like none other and we actually are on the sunset side so we can see a sunset every single day. Um, so like I really want this space to be like really usable. There's actually carpet over top of this concrete area um, which is nice that it's up. They literally pulled that up the same day they pulled up the carpet in the basement because it was gross. Um, so yeah this is going to be a really cool space. Lots of like seating. TVs, just think of like a really cool outdoor space that's similar to an indoor living room. Um, I'm taking off his moccasins because I don't want any like dirt or anything to get in them walking out here. Um, but this is the back of the house. You can see behind me, that's where the balcony is gonna be. And there's actually a pretty good amount of um, space in this backyard. Bane loves to like run around out here. Um, he gets to zoom, he's like, every single day and he actually never got the zoomies before we moved into this house so um it's kind of cool the dock has a lot of work that needs to be done with it like a lot a lot like the roof is like not fully on and we don't even know like how it works or whatever but we did end up buying a boat um so we have one it's just getting it um over here is something we kind of have to figure out i'm trying to like I guess the most light would be probably with the water behind me so um out here we are just gonna fix up the dock make it like a really obviously nice early dock we don't really know a ton about boats um so we kind of have to like figure that out as we go but we did actually buy a boat if you guys have been following me on instagram you guys would know if you're not you should because i actually put stuff on stories every single day of stuff that we're doing in the house um literally every single day a day does not go by that i don't like share something that we're working on because there's people in and out of the house literally like every single day um and it's like it's real time versus like with you guys on youtube you do get a ton of content and i feel like it's in a lot of detail but you don't get it every single day so if you want to get it every single day follow me on instagram and if you're fine just like waiting then um you can just wait for the videos or whatever but yeah, so this area um, is obviously docked, but you can see this little, like, looks like a table thing. I want to kind of make that a space where people can, like, sit. We're going to have a ton of, like, patio chairs. And I've seen a ton of really cool docks where there's, like, some really cool freaking stuff on them. Like, we will, like, sometimes go around on the boat and, like, look at other people's, like, areas so we can kind of, like, get ideas. And that's where I got the bar idea um, for, like, on the house. And, um... I don't know like I just I there's so many cool docks like people have like TVs down by their dock people have like fireplaces um, or fire pits I mean um, they have like bars where like you can like you know have a drink or something like by their water and there's just like a lot of cool ideas so um that's kind of wow I am losing things here that is kind of the full tour of the house um that's kind of the full tour of the house um we have a ton like a ton 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 of stuff to do um right now we're focusing on the bathrooms but we actually leave for um a really cool trip for my birthday 
you guys can probably guess where I'm going. Um, but we're actually leaving in a couple weeks, literally two weeks. Um, so, oh God, I forget how much of a hill that is. Um, so we are going to um, get some workers in here so they can like really, really get a ton done. Um, at least that's the plan because, whew, man, I'm out of breath. Because um, it is kind of hard with them like working while we're in the house. So um, obviously we've had people like in and out all the time, but it's it's just hard. Like when Bane's in here and like you know just like navigating around that. So um, when I leave and Brady leaves in two weeks, um, we're gonna be gone for a week. So I'm really cool. And then we're gonna be home for two days and then gone for another week. So pretty much two weeks straight. Um, but I was off last week and whew, um, I am back now. I had to take a, it was like five days that I didn't, well not five days, there were two days I didn't upload because I honestly was like a little overwhelmed but I'm feeling good now and so we're back to our regular schedule. So Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays, um, you guys will get the goods. So I'm gonna head inside, I'm gonna let Bane, um, out in a second I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video I've been wanting to do this for a very long time I just haven't had time hi bud hi you want to say hi you want to say hi to everybody you want to say hi we don't have the same comforter on because um we took it off after um the die after the dust literally was just like insane from them fixing up the bathroom and then we ended up washing it and the stains did not come out um i think it's because we had a white blanket on the bed for two full days while they were doing demo in the bathroom with the door open <laughs> but thankfully the coverage is only 50 bucks and um it actually like every other stain has come out and i've been really happy with it but i'm gonna just buy another one and all right guys i'll see you on thursday thursday's video is more of like vlog style so you guys will see like i think some unpacking um i want to do like a home goods haul with like candles and things because this house kind of smells like an old person so i have to like light candles every single day all day long to like keep the smell away and um yeah so I'm gonna get probably a couple things for the house, do a little home haul, and then um, do more of an update because we actually have um, some people coming for the bathroom this week to start putting tile in. And I kid you not, like things are just going so fast. I also have to pick out a tub, um, and I have to pick that out for the bathroom, which is why I need your help in the comments because I have to pick this out fast. And I also have to pick out, um, like all of the like the vanity like all of that stuff for the bathrooms before the tile guy gets here and he's doing all three bathrooms so um you guys will probably see all of that stuff all in one video and then um i'm gonna do a little uh video with all my vacation outfits before i go on vacation at some point and um, I'll probably do like a shop with me because I still have a ton of stuff I need to pick up since we're gonna be literally gone for two weeks. So love you guys. Hope you um, Miss me during the two days. I didn't upload <laughs> um, Sometimes I like wonder if people like Notice or don't notice or like if they're just like, you know busy or like, you know, whatever um, But yeah, anyway, I missed you guys in those two days. I didn't upload so anyway See you guys in the next one. Love you so much <laughs> Bye guys